We had a really good question from Dota2 in chat yes. uh, asking for algorithm questions. How much do you think they do or don't improve your coding skill? That's a good question. What are your what are your thoughts on like practicing those leak code style things? Do they make you a better programmer? I I think I think they can. I think it depends on the algorithms. I don't think any particular algorithm is going to make you a better programmer. And I I would my thought is that it's it's one of these curves that when you first start doing them, I think you definitely do s learn skills, learn ways of thinking and breaking down problems if you haven't had to break down problems like that. But it quickly peters out, right? Um, it quickly, I mean, so many of these problems, while the algorithms end up being quite different, the the basic approaches to them almost get, you know, sort of canned to some extent. Like you do the same kind of approach every time, sort of checklist. And I don't know, I've, I've, I've never run into an issue where I've had to reverse a linked list in my day-to-day -day programming career right. <laughs> um, or, you know, find the... Uh, last 10 digits of non-zero digits of a trillion factorial like that it's just never come up yeah imagine that um, i mean so I, I i feel the same way i mean I, I tell people on the stream all the time i've done recursion twice in production my entire career and i've made one prefix tree or like a try where it's like you know each node has multiple nodes kind of thing yep, yep. I, I did that exactly once and it was to do a bunch of address comparisons uh, i was doing some freelance work for toyota and uh, they had these big giant lists of people that own Toyotas and, and they had multiple lists and they wanted to kind of merge them into one list and deduplicate it at the same time. Okay. And sometimes it'd be like a husband and wife would both register so they'd have different email addresses, but their street address was the same. And so they we had to kind of go through and like normalize the street address. Like if it was one, two, three, North Main Street, Southwest, like take off the North, take off the Southwest, see if that matches with yep. the make and model of the car and if it did, make a presumption that it's the same account kind of thing or the same vehicle um but yeah when i I'm, I'm kind of in the in the same feeling like to some degree they make you a better programmer and they definitely get you thinking about problem solving like when you hear a problem how do i break this down into pieces and then how do i start solving those pieces yep. but beyond that like you know i i don't know that i've ever built a depth first search in real life like in production yep. Um, like I said, I've done recursion twice, like bread first search. No, nah, I mean, I've done a bunch of stuff with arrays and matrices and, and things like that because of the, the nature of the work that I've done. But most of the leak code style problems aren't really helpful for day to day work. And that's why I grief on it so much on my channel around like these really aren't going to help you do the day job. And so why do companies put such an emphasis on it? I can kind of see it for the big fan companies like they want the best of the best and they want people yeah. that can hear something and quickly break it down. But I mean, they're really catering to the people that have the time and the privilege of sitting down and studying lead code for months and months. Exactly. You can them. get very good at doing lead code. Right. And then at the end of it, you're very good at doing lead code. <laughs> Right. Yeah. But you know, how, how good are you at actually like scaling things and building things? Like you're still just writing the same code that I'm writing at this, you know, startup or wherever I'm working. I'm at Postman now where I'm not even really writing code other than, uh, you know, testing out APIs. Um, like it, it, like, I don't think long-term, I don't think it makes you a better programmer. It makes you a better problem solver, like to, to hear something initially and break it down. But beyond that, I don't know that it really makes you a better programmer. Fully agree.